Hello everyone. I want to talk a little bit about Rob Skiba's experiment, the one that I uh, posted last in my videos. I did a mirror of his, uh, his video where he talked about an experiment that he was going to do in an attempt to prove that the earth was flat. I hope um, there's some of you who know Rob who can get this information to him. I think he would be very interested in it. I really respect Rob. I think he does great work. Uh, I think he's a very honest man, and I do believe that he sees many things clearly. So uh, this is not at all to derogate his work. Uh, I just thought of this after I had watched his video, and when I was very excited when I saw his video because I thought, wow, this is going to be great. But then I thought about other round surfaces, and I thought, well, why don't I compare this to something that I can more easily grasp the size of? and I thought of a basketball. So let's just look at these numbers I've come up with. The radius of the Earth is 3,959 miles. Now Rob's experiment uh, will take a drone up to 100,000 feet above the Earth. And if you convert that to miles, that's 18.94 miles. So I thought, okay, let's look at a basketball. The radius of a basketball is approximately 4.78 inches. And if you convert that to miles, it's 0 0.00007544 miles. Then I determine, let's see how 100,000 feet above the earth would compare to how high we would be above a basketball if we use that same ratio. So basically, I just set up a simple algebraic equation, and that would be 18.94 miles is to 3,959 miles, so... 18.94 divided by 3959 equals x miles above the basketball divided by the radius of the basketball in miles. Now solving for x, we get 0 0.00003609077. And converting now to inches, that would be miles because all of these calculations above were in miles. So we convert this to inches and we get 0 0.02287 inches. Well, I wanted to look at something else that might even be easier to understand, so I converted that to millimeters, and it turns out that 0 0.02287 inches equals 0 0.581 millimeters. The point is, if you were to go 100,000 feet above the Earth, that would be like rising to 6 tenths of a millimeter over a basketball surface, or 0 0.02287 inches, 0 0.02, not even three hundredths of an inch. In other words, that's very, very small. That's a um, that's hardly above the surface of the basketball at all. So my conclusion is it would be impossible to discern a curve, even if one existed, if we rose to 100,000 feet over the earth. I mean, think of it. Think of yourself being um, two hundredths of an inch or uh, six tenths of a millimeter above the surface of a basketball. Well, you're barely above the surface. You could not possibly see whether that surface began to um, go down like a sphere would or whether that surface was just flat in front of you. So my point is that I believe that Rob Skiba's experiment will really tell us nothing at all. This is not to say that um, his belief or my belief in the flat earth is wrong. I believe it is correct for many reasons. The most simple reason and one that all of you need to understand is simply look at the pictures about of Lake Michigan where you see Chicago from the other side of Lake Michigan. You simply would not see it that way if, in fact, the Earth were a sphere because uh, the city would be underneath your line of vision. So, um, just wanted to bring this to your attention because it's important for us to think uh, truthfully and honestly about these things. Let's just continue to look at the Earth that God created and let's discern what it is where it is 
that God has placed us, his creatures, his creation. Until next time, I pray for your blessing in the name of Jesus. Amen.